hello everyone today in this video we'll be learning about uh, dsa so for that firstly we need to know about the java basics okay so uh, there are few things like eight things are there which are uh, necessary to know before starting any programming uh, questions so we'll be discussing that and after that we'll be solving one question uh, means questions one by one okay so if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel the first thing which you need to know is the outline of any programming language so in java firstly you will write uh, import java.util.star okay so this is the thing which will include to get the necessary functions for input output and after that you have to write class solution okay just write class and any name of the class here and after that the function uh, starts from public static void main okay this uh, just for now just remember you have to write this okay and whatever the code will be writing in the upcoming topics will be writing inside this okay so this is the first thing which is outline okay the next thing is the output and input for the output you have to write system dot out dot print then whatever you want to print you will uh, write here okay and if you want to take the input you have to uh, create a scanner class okay scanner class is created by the uh, keyword scanner with capital s here and after that the scanner name you can keep any name here okay and after that new scanner system dot in okay this is the fixed format the the, uh, the thing which you can change is just sc okay and after that if you want to take the input you'll be uh, writing sc dot next int and that will be stored in a for now uh, if you are seeing this for the first time it will be a bit harder but as uh, as you saw more questions uh, this will become more easier okay so that was about the output system dot out dot print for the output and for input create a scan object and uh, take the input uh, in the following manner okay moving on we have the two main uh, mostly used the data types the first one is the int and second is string okay so for declaring a integer variable uh, write int a that's equal to 10 second thing string s and whatever the string you want to store store it uh, within double quotes okay moving on the if for the if else condition and uh, here's the condition is checked suppose that a is equal to uh, 5 okay if a is greater than 10 then this will be uh, executed else if this is not true then only it will come to this part and it will check if a is equal to 10 and it will print this one else it will print this one okay that was about the if else condition the next thing which you need to know is the switch case so suppose that uh, i have a number here n is equal to 5 okay so i want to print uh, that day which is uh, associated with the number 5 okay for that what i will do i will uh, uh, write a case and the number i will be writing here so it will be checking if n value is 1 or not if n value is 2 if n value is 3 okay like that each value it will be checking whichever value it matches it will uh, do the following operation what is present here one thing you need to keep in mind write break statement after each of these uh, statement to print okay so that's how the case, uh, switch case uh, statement works and coming to the for and while loop just write for uh, keyword here inside that three things will be there the first thing is int i is equal to zero the starting value and the condition will be checked here and then this will be executed and after this gets executed this will be coming here means increment okay so what happens first i is zero then uh, uh, zero will be printed then it will be i plus plus uh, one is there then one will be printed then two then three till when it will be printed it will be printed until i is less than 10 so what are the numbers printed zero till nine okay this is the uh, syntax for for loop coming to while loop it's the same thing while i is greater than 10 the condition is true if it's true it will do the following operation okay and it will increment and after that uh, till i is uh, means greater than 10 it will execute okay that was the for and while loop coming to arrays arrays is nothing but just uh, um, group of same uh, kind of elements so this is the uh, syntax here first you'll write int after that make square brackets here and write the uh, array name okay after that new int and the size of the array within the square uh, square brackets if you want to access any element access using array of uh, what index value you want to access and uh, if you want to like uh, assign any value you'll be using this one okay like uh, at this index what uh, value you want to assign Coming to the last one, which is functions, uh, you need to know. Functions means uh, this is the main function, this will execute first. And whatever you call here, this is known as function call. So if you make a function call like here, I have written hello, and function call is always uh, ending with uh, means brackets here. So what happens? This definition is called. Definition is present here. Here, two things you need to know this is the function name. So by using which you will call the function, and here it is void. White means nothing will be returned, something will be printed here. There is no return statement. Okay. So uh, here, hello will be printed. So that's uh, the end of the code. And uh, if the return type is there, what happens is suppose that I have int here. What happens? It will start from here. Int c is equal to add 1, 2. So 1 and 2 will be passed to a and 
b okay so a and b will be passed here and return a plus b what is a plus b 1 plus 2 which is 3 3 will be returned from here and from where the function was called from here and the return value will be stored in c which i am printing here okay so this is basically it what you need to know regarding the uh, java basics as you solve more questions we'll be uh, covering more concepts as well so this is the basic thing which you need to know and uh, let's move on to the questions part thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one